Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great. Welcome to JS and RS solution. Uh, in this video, we are going to show you how to estimate water turbidity using Sentinel-2 images in Google Earth Engine. So, what is turbidity? So, it is uh, mainly the level of suspended sediments in water, indicating water clarity or how clear the water is. Mm, then, uh, what is NDTI? Uh, it is uh, normalized difference turbidity index so it, this index uh, used to estimate the turbidity of water bodies which is a measure of water quality related to the amount of suspended particles like sediments uh, plankton or pollutants in the water so for uh, turbidity analysis uh, we will use this methodological approach Sentinel to image then extract bands 3 for 8 then we will analyze NDWI and NDTI and uh, we will uh, perform binary raster uh, using NDWI and also extract water mask and also uh, clip NDTI from water mask and then finally uh, the turbidity analysis result so let's get started first uh, we will select our study area using a uh, polygon for example here is my study area so i have selected and here you can see variable name geometry so i am just just changing it uh, area of interest aoi so this is my study area area of interest and first uh, first i will uh, add sentinel two images and then i will filter so i'll call variable sentinel uh, image then uh, function double dot image collection first bracket and then now I will uh, search sentinel 2 so you can see here harmonized sentinel 2 MSI uh, level 2a and you can see here uh, the image collection uh, here and also bands band information you will find here overall band information and then uh, collection uh, from here I just copy and uh, then and then just paste here the sentinel image collection now I will uh, call dot select and then then the uh, band I will need band 3 uh, band uh, 4 and band 8 for NDWI and NDT analysis so I'm just writing band 3 band 4 and band 8 I'm just selected and then our uh, filter date so I will select uh, 1st January 23 to 31st December 2023 uh, sorry uh, then filter bounds the area of interest and then then I'm writing dot filter then function double uh, e dot filter uh, 
first bracket and uh, for uh, cloudy pixel uh, percentage less than 10 so image collection which is uh, less than uh, 10 cloudy pixel percentage and then I will define a median uh, first bracket for the um, whole time period and I will call dot multiply this is the skill factor so before uh, analysis uh, we just need to uh, scaling the factor for the reflectance value 0 0.001 so uh, first our image collection has been done and now I will perform NDWI NDWI calculation so variable NDWI and then uh, yeah variable sentinel image I just write here dot uh, function normalized difference uh, for NDWI analysis we will use a uh, band 3 and band 8 I mean uh, band 3 minus band 8 divided by band 3 plus band 8 and dot rename first bracket and then uh, in DWI so in WI calculation has been done and uh, now uh, we will perform binary raster so for that so first uh, yeah binary raster set a threshold on NDWI to detect water area for this variable and then water mask I will call a uh, function NDWI dot GT function and zero dot rename water mask so binary raster creation has been done for a uh, threshold on NDWI to detect water area and uh, then yep this is done and then normalized difference uh, turbidity index NDTI uh, calculation copy and then paste and just uh, change the name NDTI and then uh, sentinel image it will be okay and then normalize difference function and then uh, for NDTI uh, B4 minus B3 band uh, divided by B4 plus B3 and rename NDTI so NDTI calculation uh, is done and uh, now NDTI clip I mean clip NDTI from outer mask clip and DTI from utter mask I will share this uh, code uh, in my uh, uh, description section of this video so uh, for clip and DTI I will call variable uh, clip and DTI and call function and DTI dot update mask 
first bracket and then water mask yeah this will be water mask and uh, now i will visualize the result map dot add layer and then first bracket and then clip entity i this will be the, uh, the variable and uh, then clipped area of interest yep and then second bracket and then uh, for color palette blue green yellow orange and red red uh, denotes the high turbidity and to blue is uh, no turbidity I mean f and then uh, clip in the ti is variable and then false and first bracket close now click on run So just check clip in the TI. You can see over here our analysis has been done. Now just uh, will show using color palette. Click here and then you can see here color custom stretch uh, 90% or 98%. As you can see, positive entity I values indicate higher turbidity, which is uh, shown as red color, while negative entity I values indicate lower turbidity. In the next video, I will show you how to save the result and uh, make a complete turbidity map using ArcGIS. Until then, uh, stay safe and healthy.